This type of equation is a bit of a special case. We have y equals 2x. There is a y term and an x term, so we want to use the 0, 0 trip to graph it. But there is no plus 7 or minus 3. There is no constant term. Let's see what happens. If we start applying the 0, 0 trick with x equals 0 like usual, we get y equals 2 times 0. And this simplifies to y equals 0. What happens when you have an x term and a y term, but no constant term, is that you end up with the point 0, 0, which means you have found both intercepts at once. It is no use finding another point with y equals 0, you will just find the point 0, 0 over again. We're used to finding a third point with any number we want. In this situation, we're finding a second and a third point with any number we want. If x equals 1, y equals 2x becomes y equals 2 times 1. y equals 2 times 1 becomes y equals 2. We have found the point 1, 2. Let's make y equal to 8 for our third point. If y equals 8, y equals 2x becomes 8 equals 2x. My x is being multiplied by 2, so I divide both sides by 2 and cancel. My x is now isolated and is equal to 4. I have found the point 4, 8. We can see a little shortcut here because we can see a pattern emerging where the y term is always twice as big as the x term. But that's what y equals 2x means. It means y is twice as big as x. Nonetheless, we need the three points in our table, including all intercepts, and on our graph in order to get full marks for graphing the question. So let's go ahead and graph these points. 0, 0 is right here at the origin. 1, 2 is here. And 4, 8 is here. The three points do indeed form a straight line and we draw a line through them and all the way across our graph. Label our points. And we are finished. When we have an equation with both x and y but no constant term, there is no problem. We still attempt the 0, 0 trick, but right away we find the point 0, 0 and we have found both intercepts in one place.